My friends, when it comes to handheld electronics, few products are as polarizing as the pad. Netflix, along with viral clips of cats doing flips, it's hard to resist a few more scrolls and a couple more clicks. Whether you use the iPad, the iPad Pro, the iPad Air, or the iPad Mini, you won't need to navigate through the Apple iPad ecosystem in regards to cleaning. The same smudgy screens exist across them all, and each one can be cleaned the exact same way. So stay tuned because in today's video I'm going to show you how to clean your Apple iPad gadget with confidence. So first let's talk about what not to do and then we'll talk about proper care. So first of all, you never want to use any kind of uh, household cleaners, alcohol wipes, any kind of chemicals on the actual iPad screen here. The reason why is you can damage what's called the oleophobic coating. What is the oleophobic coating? Well, that's what gives it that slick to the touch feel, okay? So the next question you might ask is, well, why should I care if I damage the coating or not? Well, the reason why is because the coating makes your iPad fingerprint resistant, meaning when you touch it, you'll leave a fingerprint, but then you can wipe it away and it'll look brand new. If you didn't have the coating on there and then you touched it and left a fingerprint, and that fingerprint and that grease would just adhere to the screen. And then when you would try to wipe it away and clean it, all that would really happen is it would just leave streaks all over the screen. So that's why you want to keep your coating. I'll go over what you can use to remove those greasy fingerprints with here in a minute. But first I need to mention, you never ever want to use any kind of tissues or napkins or paper towels to wipe away fingerprints because those products are wood-based and the fibers in those materials are abrasive when it comes to the screen. If you use that stuff to wipe off fingerprints to, on your iPad here, you run the risk of creating little scratches because of the little abrasive fibers and uh, you don't want scratches all over your iPad. So how do we actually clean this iPad, get all these smudgy fingerprints off? Simple, we're gonna use what's called an electronics microfiber cloth. Now, why is this called an electronics microfiber cloth? Well, it's simple. You're not gonna find any kind of fibers in this cloth that is gonna be abrasive to the screen and give it scratches. Another reason this is recommended to clean electronics with is this is what's called flat weave microfiber. And what makes that significant or the whole point of that is basically nothing sticks to flat weave so if I threw this in a pile of sawdust and there was little pieces of wood you know in the sawdust it's not going to stick to this cloth you know imagine if it was a regular microfiber cloth and I threw it in a pile of sawdust a little piece of wood got stuck up in the cloth and then I used that cloth to clean the screen you know I could leave a big scratch well, with flat weave microfiber, nothing can stick to it. So no metal, no glass pieces, nothing is going to be in this cloth that could potentially scratch the screen. So that's how you remove fingerprints from the iPad. Well, how do you move sticky stuff? Maybe there's some, you know, honey or something on it. How do you remove the honey? Simple. Take your breath, go. Get your microfiber cloth and do little circular motions and it'll take it right off. You might also be wondering, how do you disinfect this thing? The kids use it, they get sick, they pick their nose, they sit there, they tap, tap, tap away. Now can I use disinfectant wipes? Well, I understand your concern. That's why they sell the glass screen protector for this thing. So you want to make sure that you always have a glass screen protector on your screen, then you can use the disinfectant wipes. You ain't got to worry about taking the coating off. Now the, the glass screen protector has a coating as well, and yes, the alcohol wipes will remove that coating, but it's going to take a while, okay? It's not going to happen just overnight. You're going to have to clean it many of times, and it's going to take a while. So just replace your screen protector every couple years or so. So that's it, my friends. That is how to clean your Apple iPad. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you liked it, you found it valuable, give it a big clean with confidence thumbs up. It really helps us out. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to take our relationship to the next level, then drop me a comment down below. I love reading and hearing from you guys. With that being said, my friends, implement the steps I have outlined in this video, and you will be well on your way to becoming the domesticated cleaning savage that I know you are.